I'm incredibly gratified that after two years, we've been able to bring the Regeneron Science Talent Search finalists together under very strict protocols to keep each and every one of them safe, for them to enjoy what many of the finalists in the past have enjoyed, the power of being together and the power of being in our nation's capital. When people say that SES is a life-changing experience, like that is totally true. I would describe Science Talent Search as the pinnacle of what everyone wants to do when they compete in science fair. My ninth grade year, I had listened to the seniors at the time present their research. I wanted to be like these seniors and have this incredible research that was worthy of submitting to STS. Every year I look at the projects for the finalists, especially, especially the last two years since they've been online. I didn't have many peers around me who worked on science fair, and so STS was a great way for me to have people to look up to, role models. I'm the first finalist at my school. I'm the first finalist in Louisiana in the last 16 years. Being able to represent the amazing state is a privilege and an honor. It feels so rewarding and relieving to have someone see my project and say, this person has done an amazing thing and I want to award this person. It made me feel like my project was worth it. It was at times frustrating, but I'm just so happy to be here now. My project was like an uh, independent project. Like there wasn't a program through my school. Being able to be here today to be able to like inspire other people who don't have programs at their school to want to pursue science, that's, that's an incredible opportunity. Especially due to the personal nature of my research and the fact that I researched my own disorder, it was really unique to be able to be recognized for the work that I did in taking back control of, of my disorder. Seeing that they chose me um, as someone who they thought would be the future of science, and so I think that is really special. For me, this event feels more like a celebration and almost like a retreat. In between all the judging, we're just hanging out with everyone here. We're doing lots and lots of fun stuff. We're staying in a really nice hotel. It was really worth it to come here, because in person, you obviously get to meet people better. It's just so exciting to be in person with everybody. You can play Jenga, like, you can laugh when the Jenga tower falls. I really don't think there's anything that replaces is that experience of actually being present and being surrounded in such an environment of innovation. The environment is just, you know, a group of 40 people who just enjoy science and, you know, lo lo love talking about science. I didn't know these, these people really existed, you know. I've also, like, considered myself an introvert, so it's been somewhat surprising that like here now, I just can't stop talking. I've learned about things that I just never thought I would ever know uh, because of these people who just know so much and are willing to kind of share what they know. I think I'm getting appreciation for like how big science is. Every single field just has so many sub-problems in it. Just being able to talk to people who have a really diverse amount of interest, they're very kind and empathetic. After I had one of my Judging interviews, the other people were like, okay, we should go like on a walk afterwards to like decompress together. And I think it's just been really nice having this kind of community. The ultimate goal is to be friends with everyone. I truly believe STS is about the people. Judging and awards are only temporary. It's like I'm from New York City asking people like, who live on a farm, like what that's like. Everyone's so genuinely curious about everyone else's experiences, what motivates them, what wakes them up in the morning. They're like so smart and so cool, and they're also really fun. Like, I don't know like if other people think that we're like, we're all nerds, which we are, but we're cool nerds. <laughs> I'll say we're cool nerds. <laughs> the days feel really long because the organizers have packed a lot of things into them. Either you're doing something and learning something, or you're having fun. I like the Regeneron Innovation Panel because I got to know the entire process from just an idea becoming reality. It takes a whole team to do it. It's really great that Regeneron, you know, even with all the important things that they're doing, makes time to just talk to aspiring scientists and like nurture and guide them. We just heard from Dr. Nina Shore, learning about her journey from being an STS finalist, how her research and life journey brought her to where she was, was really inspiring. I've heard all the stories from the alumni, about how the connections they made at STS have persisted through their career, and I look forward to that as well. One of the most exciting things that happened this week was the game show night. Our team was uh, Team Orange, and so we named ourselves Orange, you glad you lost to us. So we're glad that we weren't last. Since COVID, everything has been a little bit more digitalized. 
So instead of doing like just public visiting day to like a few thousand people, anyone in the world, if they are curious, they can access like our videos. I think the gala will be already meet automatically because Melissa Villasenor is the MC and I'm an SNL fan. I think I think she's cool. You also have the opportunity to like eat lunch with some really amazing people. You can find inspiration kind of all around you. Even in these judging interviews, having the opportunity to just have these questions fired at us by these scientists. It's great to see kind of how they conceptualize a research mindset. It just helps me grow more as a scientist. I learned that together we're at our best. Being a part of this science community, I just am so motivated to learn, inspire, and contribute more to science. I'm extremely grateful. We're lucky enough to have this opportunity to meet in person. These are incredible people, and I'm very honored to be a part of them. If I were to say something to everyone, I'd just be like, I think you guys are an amazing community. I'm so like lucky and happy to be here, and I hope we stay together for a long time. <laughs> it's like a lifelong community that you could always rely on. You know, if you have any scientific endeavors you want to explore with them, if you want to potentially create like a startup with them, then like these are like the people you would go to. They're some of like the smartest and most talented people I've ever met. There's kind of a stigma that science research is at the undergraduate or the doctorate level, but I think through programs like the Science Talent Search, we're creating awareness of the fact that high schoolers are more than competent to do it. These kids, and me too, we're setting an example for the future generations and for the past generations that we got this, we, we can do this. I hope that the finalists understand they all have amazing and great ability. But with that amazing and great ability, I believe comes great responsibility to take advantage of what they can do in their talents to give back to the world, to really make a difference, to helping address some of these existential threats facing mankind. Final question is, are you ready? We're ready. Welcome to this very special evening as we celebrate the award ceremony for the 81st annual Regeneron Science Talent Search. It is my great honor to be standing here today before such an incredible group of scholars, innovators, and revolutionizers of today to create a better tomorrow. It is a privilege to be among this incredibly talented group of 40 STS finalists who all have proven that after every single fall, they are able to get up again and again and show the world that nothing can stop them. The third place winner and the recipient of a $150,000 award, Amber Lu. The second place winner and the recipient of a $175,000 award, Victor Kai. The first place winner and the recipient of a $250,000 award, Christine Gay.